माहौल बनाओ नेरेटिव बनाओ ट्राई एंड विन द बैटल ऑफ परसेप्शन इज दैट वॉट दिस इज अबाउट Absolutely, that's what it is about. At this point, no, no, about both. Campaign. It is about Jasmine. what is true, and it is about communicating that truth to the people, Rahul. It is about both the things. It's about knowing what is true, and it's about communicating it. You ask, but logo ko ye kaise samaj aayega? Thankfully, we have a Rahul Kamwal. We have an India Today. We have many good channels who are willing to show the truth. The fact that there is a Sharath Reddy who was called the kingpin by ED only of this so-called Sharab Ghotala. जिससे छह बार पूछा गया कि अरविंद केजरीवाल को जानते हुए इसे इस नो मैंने तो कभी मिला ही नहीं हूं बट सडनली व्हेन ही गेट्स द बेल की टर्न्स एंड अप्रूवर एंड सेस कि मुझे याद आ गया एंड एंड आफ्टर दैट ही डोनेट 55 फाइव करोर सो दिस पॉइंट्स टुडे एंड You know, it is not being reflected probably in your data, which I just said earlier. Because it is three or four days ago. Okay. So now two months are left. Now, did, by that time, blood of blood, water of water, will be all over the road and on the roads. Shazia, you've been in the app. You know that when it comes to communications, they're definitely sharper than the Congress, right? Maybe not necessarily at the level of the BJP, but sharper yeah. than the Congress for sure. The argument that yeah, Jasmine no, makes sure. is that we've got for, two months. Sure, जब तक दिल्ली में वोट होगा तब तक हम माहौल बना देंगे वील एक्सप्लेन हु दिस शरद रेड्डी इज हाउ ही डिड नो केजरीवाल आफ्टर बिकमिंग अप्रूवर ही सडनली इज बाइंग बॉन्ड्स ओनली फॉर द बीजेपी सो ऑप्टिक्स मैटर डेफिनेटली एंड व्हेन पीपल लर्न दैट ड्यूरिंग कोविड एपिडेमिक केजरीवाल वाज एक्चुअली यूजिंग सरकारी पैसा एंड गवर्नमेंट मनी टू फर्बिश हिज हाउस एंड यूज 70 करोड़ आई मीन हिज इमेज वाज डेंटेड इन अ वेरी बिग वे So every time they said, and people play it again and again. You see the kind of uh, Arvind Kejriwal's bias that are being used when he used to say, "We will not take any bangla, we will not take any security, we are not here to do uh, to take salaries." So all that is being used, and people remember it. People don't have such a short memory. So narrative matters. Here is a man who spoke about uh, being anti-corruption. Here is a man who had people who who you, who said things against. Uh, Lalu Prasad Yadav and uh, Praful Patel and Sharad Pawar and Rahul Gandhi and here is a man who's using all of them to come defend him on the stage and you know who are his biggest supporters now but not quite if you see any of the protests none of the parties have really joined in because people will not forget how Arvind Kejriwal belittled them mocked them and uh, vilified them okay so that I want to come to the, the next matter. question who will benefit area. from Kejriwal's arrest okay So let's look at the responses to this question first in Delhi and then Pan India. Uh, AAP and the India Alliance will get sympathy, say 31% of the overall voters. The Modi government gets sympathy for its war on graft, say 48% of the respondents. Amongst opposition voters, 43% say AAP will get sympathy and the India Alliance will get sympathy. Modi will get support for graft, say 39. That's as far as the mood in Delhi is concerned. Now let's look at the mood Pan India. Uh, 39.2% of the overall voters say AAP and India Alliance will get support. Now, interestingly, and this thread has emerged in question after question, in Delhi only 31% of the voters said that AAP and India Alliance will get sympathy. <coughs> Across the rest of the country, 39% say the same thing. So, in 8% gap, 8% more people sympathetic towards India and Alliance. Uh, India Alliance and the AAP outside Delhi than they are in Delhi. That is, for me, at least from my lens, something which is very, very interesting and intriguing. Forty-two uh, percent of the respondents say Prime Minister Modi will get support for the war on graft, uh, and fifty-three point five percent of NDA voters say Modi government will get support for its war on graft. I want to go across to Yashwan Deshmukh once again. The mood pan India. More sympathetic towards AAP and the India Alliance on this question of uh, whether he'll get sympathy than it is in Delhi. Is that a good thing for AAP or a bad thing? If it's about winning moral battles, then it's a good thing because you win a moral fight, right? But if it's about actual votes, your voters are here. Your own voters seem more irked than people who are never going to vote for you. Well, yeah, it's quite intriguing and interesting at the same time, Rahul, because uh, you know uh, the the AAP and the party support base or vote bank. is uh, completely made up of uh, what you can say is the ex congress mood bank so obviously congress and the aap support base is at locker heads as far as delhi is concerned but outside delhi some of the rest of the opposition leaders and their support bases 
they see Amadi Party or the case of Arvind Kejriwal as their uh, as a cause to 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 say something or make something out of it because their vote banks are not contradicting to each other. So there is a better gelling of the opposition votes on this issue outside Delhi, but within Delhi, where up and the uh, Congress vote banks are at the loggerheads, at crossroads, at contradiction with each other, there is a different kind of a scene. You in know, Delhi. Shazia would probably be happy. कि जिसने वोट नहीं देना वो जो मर्जी सोचे क्या फर्क पड़ता है जिसने वोट देना है वो खिलाफ है बिकॉज जैसमीन शाह वंडरिंग शुड आई बी हैप्पी शुड आई बी अनहैप्पी बट शाजिया वुड लाज बी हैप्पी सीएम ऑफ डेली राइट एंड डेली आई हैव बीन द विक्टिम्स ऑफ केजरीवाल पॉलिटिक्स हिज फ्लिप फ्लॉपिंग हिज मर्क्यूरियल मेथड एंड नाउ करप्शन इट्स ऑल फॉर एवरीबडी टू सी सो दिस इज वेरी डैमनिंग आई फील इट्स अज इंडाइटमेंट and i think if if he loses ground here and his credibility uh, is reduced i think it impacts his politics in a big way how do you how do you now mobilize your voters and your cadres uh, will they be if the credibility runs low i mean how do you, how do you go ahead with this okay. because this was your your car movie this is your epicenter this is where your, your voters and your strength ja jasmine cha how do you see this this dharti doesn't believe in it in the voter in the universe of voters who are not supposed to vote for you because that's pan india not delhi you're largely a delhi punjab to some extent gujarat phenomena in the universe of voters where aap is not directly on the ticket there is more sympathy for you than there is in the universe of voters who are supposed to vote for you ye achhi baat hai ki buri baat hai pehle ye bata how do you see it uh, rahul <laughs> No Rahul I think there is there is something off about this data as I said what we are seeing on the ground is completely different but I find it very funny that today Shazia Elmi is worried about ki aapke cadre ke manobal ka kya hoga aap log ground pe voter ko kaise leke aayenge uh, I will only request Shazia that you know you should now be worried about the clear perception that is forming in the minds of BJP voters our voters are not going anywhere they know that Arvind Kejriwal ne school theek ki hai isliye wo jail mein hai उसने मोहल्ला क्लिनिक बनाया इसलिए वो जेल में फ्री बिजली दे रहा है इसलिए जेल में है मोदी जी कभी ये नहीं करेंगे बट योर वोटर्स आर आस्किंग कि इसलिए हमने मोदी जी को वोट दिया था कि सारे विपक्ष के नेताओं को जेल में डाल दो एक फर्जी मुकदमा कर दिया वेर यू हैव नो एविडेंस योर ओन डोनर इज गिविंग अ स्टेटमेंट एंड देन यू आर इम्प्रिजनिंग अरविंद केजरीवाल हैव यू डिलीवर्ड ऑन टूडे राहुल इट इज दीव ऑफ इलेक्शन BJP are they talking about the work that they have done are they talking about schools education healthcare no they are talking about aaj ed ki raid maine yahan pe dali aaj hamare today goa's aam aadmi party unit has been raided today i believe uh, uh, cm pinarayi vijayan's daughter has been uh, summoned or raided ye ho kya raha hai desh mein is this how mr modi wants to build his narrative to the people and to bjp voters i think you need to be worried about the fact that today bjp voters feel enough is enough we need to put a stop to this dictatorial regime how do you and know what bjp voters feel sanity in our democracy Sir, if you say this is what our voters feel i'm very happy you're not a pilot you know i'm so glad because you clearly don't know the direction you know you're supposed to fly somewhere to one direction and you just take it somewhere else you know jana tha japan pahunch gaye cheen samajh lena so don't do that stick to the question don't run away i mean you know you can't fool all the people all the time you know delhi is a nerve center you know you've lost credibility you know is delhi voters which have made you who you are uh, and you know the your basic principal challenger is bjp because uh, congress has come to terms with you in, in in delhi and congress deep down hates you it's just that bjp is a bigger enemy so you also know that and everybody knows that let's not pretend and mince words here for heaven sake the entire excise ghotala this entire thing was flagged first by congress So Mudit also knows that, but poor thing doesn't know what to say. Can I add something about so Delhi? Yes, yes. Mudit, say, are you? Are, <laughs> you know, Mudit, are you I concerned mean, on, that you are getting understand. that you are getting washed out in this battle between AAP and the BJP? So let's understand this. AAP is our alliance partner in Delhi. Number one, look at the vote percentage of BJP in last MCD and uh, Assembly election. They got forty percent in both elections, but it is also true in two thousand nineteen parliament election. Hold on, hold on. Parliament election, they got fifty-five percent vote, and one of the reasons was they could inc increase their vote was because there was no alliance between our party and Congress. So people thought that uh, neither our party nor Congress uh, candidates are going to win. But this time, even it is with the com combined you, vote, you, say, Shazia Ji, can you give me just two minutes to complete, and then you can just say what you want to say? So when you go on the ground right now, there's complete synergy between both parties. 
both of them, we are fighting a bigger evil, which is Mr. Modi. We are fighting an authoritarian regime. And this has sunk in in all the cadres of Congress as well as our party. And this complete synergy and the ground and BJP is in for run for their money. And we will probably okay. win all seven so seats in I, I, I want to show and up this well, is once what again. I want, ground I want, right now. That's what you're saying. Let's look at the data. Can we just have the vote share worm, please? I just want to show our viewers. If even if there is seamless transferability, by which I mean that every voter of the Congress is willing to vote for an AAP candidate if an AAP candidate is sitting, is standing on that seat, and every voter of the AAP Aadmi Party is willing to vote for uh, the Congress candidate if a Congress candidate is fighting on that seat, then what's the scenario? In the last Lok Sabha elections, uh, there was 41% vote share that the AAP and the Congress had. The BJP had 57. Remember when I interviewed the Home Minister at uh, the Conclave, that's what he said. We're already above 57. So it doesn't matter what happens. Even if there is perfect transferability, they're only at 41. The problem for the BJP would be that if the image is not like this, if it is lesser, because in 2014, uh, the BJP had 46% of the vote share. At that time, the Congress and the AAP together, if there was seamless transferability, had 48. So if it's 48 versus 46, that's a tight battle because even if there is some fragmentation, it is still close. But if it is 57 uh, versus 41, then it doesn't matter. Even if there's perfect transferability, it makes no difference. Amitabh Tiwari, how do we gauge before the 4th of June when we'll ultimately know, what's your best sense? Looking at past data, how much transferability is there likely to be? And is the BJP 50 plus on most seats? If it is, then it doesn't matter what AAP and Congress do. It's game over already. It all depends upon the amount of swing which the Aam Aadmi Party and the Congress Party are able to get from the BJP or the amount of sympathy and how much votes they are able to pull. To pull. Like we've seen uh, uh, in the earlier uh, PSC, if they are able to pull 6%, because BJP is not 50% plus on all seats. So if they are able to pull 6%, then they will be able to win or they are likely to be able to win two seats. So it becomes 5-2. However, as you are seeing that in the all the questions, it seems to be good news for the opposition versus Delhi. However, we have to keep in mind that the proportion of BJP or NDA votes at a pan-India level is only 43-45%. Whereas in Delhi, the proportion of NDA votes is 57% in a Lok Sabha election. That is why we are seeing the difference. And the first question also, I think, will be worrisome for the BJP because only 48% people are saying that uh, 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 Kejriwal has been arrested because he is corrupt. One fifth of NDA supporters also saying that it is vindicative or uh, because he has emerged as a threat to the BJP, whereas the vote share of BJP is 57%. So it already indicates a swing away from the BJP on the corruption plank if, if this question is taken into consideration. So it all depends upon that. Okay. So there are some interesting themes, Yashwan Deshmukh, that we've picked up for the next uh, PSE. There is electoral bonds, there's president's rule, there are cases on BJP leaders uh, or non-BJP leaders who joined the BJP. So there's enough material. The good thing about election season is that there is just so much flow of information, so many issues. So the worrying has to be done by the likes of Jasmine, Mudit and Shazia. If you have no skin in the game yourself, you know, we have to eat them too, they have to eat So it doesn't really matter who ultimately wins. But if you have no skin in the game, there's a lot of interesting analysis, insights, and data crunching that you can do, which is what we hope to do on the political stock exchange. The netas can fight it out, duke it out, try and win the narrative, convince voters. We'll just sit back and do the commentary and give you the analysis. So we'll be back with the next political stock exchange. I hope you enjoyed this much. Uh, this one, thank you very much, Yashwant and the C-Voter team uh, for that uh, data compilation for us. We'll keep doing this. On this week's edition of the Political Stock Exchange, we look at that one question that's been uppermost in the minds of voters in the capital as also outside the capital. What should Kejriwal do? Should he resign? Has he been arrested as an act of political vendetta or has he been arrested because people think he's actually corrupt? So this is the first time we'll try and put some data based on the opinion of voters 
to the questions that have been swirling in the air since the time the Delhi Chief Minister was arrested. Let me take the first question uh, on this week's edition of the Political Stock Exchange. This is data by the polling agency Seavoter. Uh, I want to go across and show you, remember, every response set in this particular edition of the PSE is based uh, on two parts. The first part deals with responses in the capital and the second part deals with responses pan India. So it's first part just gives you a sense of the mood in the capital and the second part gives you the national picture. So here's the first question. What do you make of Kejriwal's arrest? Why do you think he's been arrested? 47.8% of the Delhi voters think he's been arrested because he was corrupt because of an act of corruption. That is, if you're a if you're an AAP supporter, a very alarming number. 48% of the respondents say he's been arrested because they actually think that there is a linkage to corruption. Uh, how many people think this is because Prime Minister Modi and his government have a vindictive policy towards the opposition? 30% of the respondents, 3 in 10, say it's because the Modi government is vindictive towards the opposition. The AAP says it's because Kejriwal is emerging as a real threat to the BJP and to Prime Minister Modi. That's the response of only 16.3% of uh, the respondents. Now, interestingly, naturally, when you look within opposition voters, those who think he's been arrested because of corruption is much lesser, only 17.1%. Uh, opposition voters, 50% of them think he's been arrested because Modi government is vindictive. 30% think because he's emerging as a threat to Modi. Amongst NDA voters, naturally, there's an anti kejriwal skew. So that's the Delhi picture. Now, let's look at the pan-India picture. On your screen now, responses outside Delhi. 38.8% of overall respondents pan-India think he's been arrested because of corruption. And this is what I find intriguing. At this moment, according to the C voter data, there are 10% extra people in Delhi who think he's been arrested because of corruption than they are outside. The outside number is 39%. In Delhi, the number is 48%. So that's a gap, which means his perception, according to this data, in the capital on the issue of corruption is worse than it is outside India. 32% uh, think it's because Modi government follows a vindictive policy against the opposition and 19% think uh, Kejriwal is emerging as a threat to Prime Minister Modi. So interestingly, on all these responses, uh, there's a slight difference with the biggest difference being that more people in Delhi think that it's because of corruption than those outside. Outside, the image is more favorable than it is in the capital. With that first response, let me introduce you to our panelist. Yashwan Deshmukh has a lot of answering to do on these numbers. He's the lead cephologist, founder, director at Seavoter. It's his team that did these numbers for us. So, Yashwan, welcome. With us also is Jasmine Shah, chief national spokesperson of the Ahmadmi Party. Welcome back, Jasmine, once again. Shazia Ilmi knows a thing or two about the Aam Aadmi Party. She's a part of the movement, the party, and now national spokesperson of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Representing um, the Congress in Delhi is its spokesperson, Mudit Agarwal. And uh, political analyst, author, Amitabh Tiwari is with us as well. Yashwan Deshmukh, what I find interesting is that in Delhi, 48% of the respondents think Kejriwal overall has been arrested because of corruption. Outside Delhi, in the HSM markets where you did this poll, 39% say he's been arrested because of corruption. A simple reading of that data suggests at this moment, more people in the capital seem to think he's corrupt or he's been arrested because of actual corruption than those outside. That seems quite yeah. counterintuitive. That, yeah, that's right. That, that uh, number actually caught my attention as well. But I then realized that uh, uh, Delhi electorate is actually more polarized on him than the electorates outside Delhi. So there is a significant number of uh, anti Kejriwal pro Congress vote in Delhi, Rahul. Uh, let's not forget that. Delhi is a triangular contest city, and uh, Congress has been fighting tooth and nail with Kejriwal as well, even though they have gone ahead with the India alliance. But there are significant number of Congress voters, and not to mention the Congress leaders. Amitabh Tiwari, is there easy transferability between AAP and Congress in Delhi? They've come together in alliance in the Lark Slok Sabha, and I'll have that data up on your screen. Uh, the BJP is already 50% plus. So now that these two parties, which have fought each other, the Congress voter, the Congress hardcore voter doesn't like AAP because the AAP government has been formed on top of the Congress. They basically demolished the Congress and come to power. 
in a Lok Sabha context, do you see transferability happen easily or do you think it will be very complex to ensure transferability even though the leaders have decided that seats can be distributed? It's, it's going to be complex because if it was an easy transferability in that way, Rahul, then, uh, then you know, the numbers of votes that Congress polls in assembly elections, a number of votes with Amarni polls in the Lok Sabha election would have been big zero. I so, mean, you're saying that transferability is complex. Amitabh Tiwari, my question to you is, does Kejriwal's arrest make it tougher for Congress voters to vote up? Do you see that play out or not really? See, I don't think transferability is, is tougher because of the high percentage of swing voters in Delhi. I mean, voters are swinging between a Vidhan Sabha and a Lok Sabha election. Even in the chart, if you see, 13% voters go back to Congress in a Lok Sabha election and 18% of that that portion, almost all of them, return to the Aam Admi Party in the Vidhan Sabha election because Aam Admi Party has grown at the expense of Congress. SC, minority, OBC voters, Punjabi, Khatri voters have shifted Let me just Congress explain that data is, that you're talking is, about, the, the swing of voters from one party to the other on the screen. What uh, Amitabh Tiwari is referring to is how there seems to be a high level of transferability between... BJP voters in a Lok Sabha election and AAP voters in an assembly election. Now, how do we say this? Basically, if you look at the 2019 Lok Sabha elections and compare them with the 2015 assembly elections, AAP lost 36% vote. The Congress gained 13%. So, 13% people who didn't vote for Congress in the Lok Sabha came back to the Congress. The BJP gained 25% of the vote. 25% extra vote over where they were in the last assembly election. The biggest loser was the Aam Admi Party. This is what happened in the 2019 Lok Sabha election. This is the last Lok Sabha election. Cut to 2020, the assembly election. There suddenly, and it almost seems it's usually not 36 down, 36 up. The transferability is never as obvious and as apparent. But in this case, it is. They went down 36%. Suddenly, the Aam Admi Party is up 36%. And this gain comes almost equally from the Congress, which is losing 18% of people who voted for them in Lok Sabha have now gone to up, and 18% of BJP voters, this orange bar, voted for uh, the Aam Admi Party. So that essentially shows how votes have got uh, transferred from the Congress and the BJP to the up in uh, assembly context. But currently, we're focusing on the Lok Sabha, which is where up goes down, Congress comes up. Uh, just marginally, the biggest beneficiary, of course, is the BJP at 25. I want to go across to Jasmine Shah of the Aam Admi Party. His response to the first question. Uh, I hope you won't debunk the data itself because data is, uh, you know, to be taken at face value and sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. At this moment, in response to the first question, what should concern you as an AAP leader is that 49 odd percent of the voters in Delhi think that he's been arrested because of corruption. Outside Delhi, the response is 39%. So that, you know, is quite stark that somehow at this moment in the context of a Lok Sabha election, the mood is not as pro as it is outside or the mood is not as anti outside India as it is in Delhi. Rahul, uh, I'm not going to debunk the data, but I will definitely share an alternate perspective because we have been meeting people on the ground. We have been uh, mobilizing for the mega rally of India Alliance on 31st. And there is an outpouring of sympathy. There is an outpouring of support for Arvind Kejriwal and AAP. And many BJP voters, because these are many BJP or Modi voters who vote for Mr. Modi in Lok Sabha, but they vote for Arvind Kejriwal and they've benefited from his policies. And to know that a sitting CM is put behind bars in a case where trial has not even begun, where there is no evidence, not a single rupee of money trail, but at the same time, money trail is found in BJP's accounts through a approver whose name is Sharat Chandra Reddy, which I'm sure BJP spokesperson will never respond to. So people know that there is a kind of a tamasha going on. The reason why this, and I actually request you, Rahul, that you carry out this poll a week again and you will see drastically different reason because this khulasa of Sharad Chandar Reddy and the real scam in the so-called Delhi liquor policy was not during the policy. It was after ED raided many people, got them to become approvers and then extorted money from them and put them into their account through electoral bonds. Now, the question that you asked, the reason why maybe, and, my, and this is my hypothesis, uh, Rahul, 
See, over the last two years, there has been a continuous propaganda exercise by the BJP. In the name of their liquor policy, what have they been doing? Someone issue karo. The moment ED issues someone, it is on the front pages of Delhi. So the propaganda machinery is hyperactive for the last two years. They are not hyperactive to spread the works of Mr. Modi, but they are hyperactive to assassinate the perception, to assassinate the character uh, of Aam Admi Party and Arvind Kejriwal. But at the end of the day, when the, when the matter goes to trial, and I would say even before that, because the Sharad Chandra Reddy matter has just come out, and the manner in which people are reacting to these hard facts, these are not allegations. A kingpin of this uh, so-called Delhi scam has not given any money to AAP, but has donated 55 crores to BJP after arrest and after being released on bail by the ED. So, you know, sometimes okay. it's the, the truth is day, you know, white and black, and it's all come okay. out a few days back, and we will see it, uh, you know, play out in public perception also. I want to take this next question. Has uh, Kejriwal's image as an honest politician been damaged uh, by these charges and by his arrest? What do respondents say uh, to this question? I'll show you the Delhi data first. In Delhi, and uh, this is where Shazia Ilmi has a big smile on her face, 56% of the overall respondents, 60% of the NDA voters, and even 50% of opposition voters. 50% of opposition voters say, yes, Kejriwal's image has been hurt by these charges. Uh, look at the national numbers now. So outside Delhi in the HSM markets, the national numbers, 51% of the overall voters, 49.3% of opposition voters, and 53.9% of NDA voters. See, NDA voters naturally are going to say, ha, why image kharab hogi. The problem here, and which is where, you know, uh, Jasmine refers to the propaganda machine of the BJP and how they've been at it with this charge, it seems to be hitting home. 49.3% Shazia of opposition voters all India and in Delhi, 50.5% of opposition voters seem to think that this has indeed hurt Kejriwal's image as an, op as an honest politician. Yes, this and more. So this all, all this started also when, um, you know, Manish Sisodia and, and after him Sanjay Singh got arrested. But even before that, when Satyendra Jain was uh, arrested and that whole PWD scam and all that and what have you. So this has been going on for a while and there have been many, many charges against many of the MLAs. Now, but here's the real deal. And I think Delhi is the epicenter of Arvind Kejriwal's politics, of our Madhmi party. This is where it began. You know, the, it started with Jhadu and it seems to be ending with Daru. So I really think that when 48% and 56%, uh, you know, respectively answers to two different questions, when people believe that Kejriwal and the charges are sticking, that Kejriwal is corrupt and the charge is sticking, there is a lot of thinking to do. Now, confusing electoral bonds with kickbacks is again a very silly strategy and will not work because all that is post facto. Electoral bonds, we all know, are different. And this is a, uh, an investigation into excise policy or the Sharab Hotala, as we call it. Now, here the, fa the facts and figures are for everybody to see. Arvind may throw money, Sodia, and uh, Sanjay Singh under a bus and say, oh, a lot of people used to come to my uh, residence, residence of CM, and I don't know anything about it. But the fact of the matter is that whether it's a Sessions Court or the High Court or Supreme Court, Manish Sisodia has not got bail. Satyendra Jain has not gone, got bail. Sanjay Singh has not gone bail, got bail. Whereas opposition leaders are concerned, all of them have got bail, starting from Tejasvi Yadav to Chidambaram to all others. So there is something to be said here about the courts and their functions. Okay. Now, now the Jas EP Jasmine the Shah. No, no, let me, no, 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 yes. no, no, let me finish. Let me okay, finish. okay, go Ten on. seconds more. And, and you know, the, the fact of the matter is that it's very easy to confuse the issue and talk about something that happened de facto. The whole case is not based on Sharat Reddy alone. There is Sri Arvind, who was Mani Sisodia's PA. There is Samir Mahindru, the wholesale person, you know, wholesaler who got the L1 contract in this, and all the retailers, and many, many testimonies and 14 arrests. So it is a bit more complicated than, okay. you know, than pretending to throw it under, a carp uh, under the carpet and say, oh, push it under the carpet and say, oh, it's all about uh, some Sharat Reti and okay. uh, uh, electoral bonds. Okay, Jas it's not really connected. Jasmine Shah, even if I ignore all the NDA voters, just leave them for the moment. In Delhi, 50.5% of opposition voters seem to think that Kejriwal's image is an honest, because the whole thing was based on imandari and honesty. 
that his image halo as an honest politician has been damaged. Even the opposition voters seem to be telling our pollster this. Rahul, so I'm not going to, uh, you know, attack this data, but I do not agree with it, and that's what I will say that because uh, this is definitely not the perception in large segments of the population. And these are the people who have been witnessing this sham of a scam investigation that is going on. You know, Shazia today here can come and say that, Are you bail not get But the question is, evidence kaha hai? Not a single rupee of money trail, not a single evidence. And there is no parallel in Indian history or maybe even in any respectful democracy that, you know, you put sitting politicians, national leaders behind jail without any evidence. Trial has not begun. Charged bhi file nahi hui hai. Lekin ek ek saal se aap jail mein dal rahe ho. Why? Because you have made the ED and the PMLA kanun so draconian. It was actually meant Rahul to fight narcotics and terrorists. Now today tell me, can Shazia name one drug smuggler or terrorist that is in the jail because of ED? No, she will not have any yeah, answer. But if you ask how many say, Vipaksha politicians no, no, are in the jail, Manisha Sodhya, Arvind Kejriwal. So the so purpose here is very clear. And why should we not ask you questions on Sharath Reddy? Sharath Reddy donated. Course, it was the course, it was the statement of, course, of Sharath Reddy on the basis of which Arvind Kejriwal has been no, arrested. And this Sharath Reddy, it turns out, is a donor of BJP. Rahul, you should ask the question. How can you take money from a kingpin of the Sharab Ghotala, make him give a statement, and then arrest the chief, a sitting chief minister? Okay, let uh, Shazia Elmi respond to this because this is an important question. The man and the viewers also need to understand this. On whose testimony Kejriwal has been arrested, or is it a part of the reason that he's no, been no, arrested? No, no, that is not true, Rahul. Part, pa part, no, part. It's it no, is part you're of the reason. It's Rahul, part. You're no, Sharath Reddy. Sharath Reddy. Let, let, let me, no, let me, no. let, let me frame my question and then you respond. Part of the reason that he's been arrested is because the head of Arubi. Indo Pharma, who's part of the so-called so uh, South Lobby, who claimed that he paid uh, AAP leaders, including Kejriwal. He was actually one of the accused. He's now turned approver, and Kejriwal and AAP, what, uh, AAP lawyers are asking in, J uh, in court that if somebody is under duress and under cha facing charges, you get a confession Andri, out of him, you can get yeah. him to say anything, yeah. and he can say, Andri, diya Kejriwal so, ko paisa. Respond to what Jasmin yeah, Shah said. So, so, let's say Sharath Reddy talking about all the BJP ko diya, wo bhi arrest hone ke baad. So, how do you explain, how do you explain the loss to the exchequer of excise when the sales and consumption went up? How do you explain the increase of commission of to the wholesaler for two Indo spirits from 6% to 12%? How do you explain now, now 185% jump of profit earning to private players? How do you no. expect... How so, do you Shazia, that's as far as the liquor no, policy is concerned. No, ma'am, no, no, ma you're answering, answering a different finish. question. Rahul, Rahul, just just hear what I'm saying. Shazia, I'm not able to speak. Shazia, no, just listen to my question. No, one second. No, no, no. Just listen. Just Ma'am, listen. Ma'am, listen to my question. You're doing this again and again. Shazia, you're doing this again and again. Just listen to my question. I will... you, you are not. You are not. No, no, no. My, my question is this. Just allow me to ask my question so that, you, so that you answer the correct question. Now, after all these charges have been leveled, this particular liquor baron, stroke, uh, pharma giant goes out and buys electoral bonds, which are all for the BJP. Before answer, that, yes, that. you haven't that come to this. Exactly after, after his I arrest, mean, was, uh, he's only buying bonds for the BJP. Before his arrest, he's buying for others as well. Respond I mean, to this. Yes, Shazia. I mean, I'm answering that. I'm answering. That is exactly what I was going to answer. This is waste of footage okay. in all the time. I was going to say exactly that. So he electoral bonds are legit. They were struck as unconstitutional only a few weeks back. Electoral bonds are legit and they cannot be compared to kickbacks, which is actually the main allegation in the central, uh, in this uh, excise policy, liquor policy uh, scandal. So let's not confuse the two. And even if he has, let's say that post facto, he was scared and he ended up buying it and he became informer. Let me tell you, which is exactly what I was trying to tell you, that the entire case is not based on one man's evidence. CM Arvind was Mani Sisodia's PA. The chief secretary was the one who flagged the issue. There were Congress leaders who flagged it and brought and talked about the irregularities of the case. So post facto, somebody can give money through electoral bonds, Online. which is actually money given through a check to the State Bank of India. So let's not confuse. It's your raita phelane ki or jalebi or imarti banane ki adat hai na. Please, none of us will be fooled by that. Okay. So the fact so of the matter I, I, is, this is very different. Electoral bonds are different from Rishwat Khori. 
commission khori no but but it is intriguing it is shazia ji you are no one second shazia ji this a k kavita the fact is before he's he is arrested he is buying bonds for he is buying but bonds across parties Sarah, after arrest he is buying bonds. bonds only for one party now what i think that speaks agreed, for itself agreed, you, people agreed, will form agreed, their own so opinion you, on you that ask that agreed you can ask a question but you'll have to answer right you'll have to answer the question of what was vijay nair doing with samir mehru calling up arvin kejriwal why is kek avita in the south lobby there why was the policy made to tweak profit profiteers okay. why was the why was the government thrown under the bus and private vendors made to play all this happened post facto There okay so what I, what i'll do is we we'll set up a separate psc yashwan deshmukh on electoral bonds i think there is enough meat there we need to do that separately but i want to come back to the data because otherwise we'll get caught on electoral bonds and we won't be able to show our viewers all the that is uh, what they're trying to do all the all the data sets that we'll we have i want to come to the next question on what should kejriwal do now and i'll show you the responses in delhi should he resign as chief minister is it okay for him to run the government uh, from jail here are the responses these are responses remember from the capital itself here 47% say overall he should resign only 17% of opposition voters who've largely been unforgiving in the first few questions we put out only 17% say he should resign so opposition voters don't think he should resign 76% of opposition voters are saying jail se chalao government don't resign 76% are saying don't resign naturally amongst nda voters 71.2% are saying resign as chief minister 23% are saying run the government from jail here it looks as if it's divided between opposition and government and that division is very clear in the first few questions on whether his image has been hurt or why is he been arrested is it because of corruption uh, opposition and government uh, anti uh, opposition and government voters seem to have different points of view okay now let's look at the all india data on what should kejriwal do 44% of overall voters say he should resign only 30% of opposition voters lesser number of opposition voters like we saw in delhi even all india only 30% of opposition voters say he should resign 62% of opposition voters say he should run the government from jail uh, amongst the nda voters of course it's quite predictable they want him to go and they don't want him to run the government from jail i want to go across to mudit agarwal uh, from the congress you've got an alliance with uh, the aam aadmi party in delhi in punjab the aap and the congress are principal opponents does that really make it complicated for people like you because you're not quite sure of what position to take you say something lovely say something sandeep dikshit say something and in punjab uh, the likes of a pratap bajwa and the others have to take a very different position so the congress seems caught in a very bad space and I these are states they... which are very close to each other unlike west bengal and kerala which are quite far from each other geographically delhi and punjab are very close to each other in so many ways look <laughs> uh, uh, there is no confusion in congress as to what our stand is see as far as punjab is concerned we had taken a decision with aam aadmi party because we were number 1 and number 2 party they'll be better that we fight separately because if you fight together you ultimately give space to bjp and akali to grow there and that would not be a wise decision to take number 2 see what is very important right now is couple of things have happened over last one month one is the issue of electoral bonds which is completely exposed bjp to be one of the corrupt parties in the whole world is the biggest scam which india has seen number one second freezing of congress's accounts in which basically you are taking away the level playing field and almost crippling congress financially